impression about Segovia? I think my first impression walking out of the train station was something like, where the f am I? Because all I saw was a bunch of cows and fields. And I was like, there is no city or town in sight. I honestly thought that the school might have been one of the farmhouses in the distance. And I went, I f***ed up. Guys, don't get scared when you see the cows. <laughs> There's nothing to do with Segovia. Okay, good to, I mean, hearing from a Madrid person. I think it depends on the type of person you are. Segovia is, it's true that it's little, but it has so many things to do. Going for a walk, going to play paddle, going to play tennis, spontaneous, outdoor, adventurous things to do, right? Which I think Segovia does have. I mean, at first you can think so, but once you got here, you kind of understand what to do, and it's a more relaxed life. You can go to the hills, you can go partying. Everyone, like, literally 10 minutes away, walk. Walking. We have tons of plans and we have a lot of fun always. Segovia is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, it's in the middle of Spain. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, sometimes it feels like... Compared to what? That's completely true. <laughs> I completely agree. The first time I arrived in Segovia at the train station, I literally felt like I landed on a different planet. <laughs> it becomes your home, so you find everything you need here. As you form a home here, you start realizing that you don't need anything else. I mean, the middle, no, it's 20 minutes by away from Madrid. Segovia is an old boring town. It's an old town, <laughs> but it's not boring at all. <laughs> it could be boring if you're looking at it from an onlooker's perspective. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say old, I would say antique. Segovia students are weirdos and introverts. They prefer to live in a small village rather than a big city because they want to know social life. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That's horrible to say. Uh, um, I mean... You can call it weird, but it's, it's good, like... I, it's a good weird. <laughs> Nightlife is not as existent in Segovia. No, that's also another stereotype which is silly because I've had like my funnest nights have been in Segovia and I've been to Madrid. We have Irish. What happens in Irish stays in Irish. <laughs> I'd say that's 100% correct. <laughs> Nightlife in Segovia is amazing. I would even say it's not better than Madrid, but the same level. So Segovia is better. You get two years in Segovia, or one, or three, depending on what degree you are. Go to Segovia. And then you go to Madrid. So you kind of get this best of both worlds experience, Hannah Montana style. I think Segovia, it's uh, much easier to make friends. And I think we have this sense of family. Go to Segovia. I actually believe that the place to make friends is Segovia. The first day I arrived, I've never met so many people in one day. I've never met so many people who are willing to be your friend and who want to be your friend. What is your favorite thing about being in Segovia? Being in Segovia is a lot about you know, enjoying this idyllic environment and making the most of nature in as fun of a way as you can. The walking distance of everything. The architecture is nice. The people are really nice. The sense of community that we have is actually fantastic. Go to Segovia. Yeah.